Hey guys, what's up? Christian here back at you with a brand new pickup video. Today I have a couple of really cool things to show you that I'm sure not everybody out there is going to be able to obtain and uh, I actually went to the Nike Sneaker Express and they gave me some free stuff which I was super super thankful for. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys what they gave me. So let's get into it. So the very first thing is uh, this bag. Like, I know it's not much, it's just a bag, but it's a pretty cool bag. And when I was walking around downtown Toronto with it after the event, I had dozens and dozens of people come up to me and be like, Yo, you went on it? What was it like? Like, what, what happened? So I gave the rundown like a thousand different times to different people. Let's get into... That fell. You know what? Let's get to the thing that fell first. So at first I was like, why the heck are they giving us a tube? And then I realized one of the people that was with me, they opened up the tube like two seconds earlier and it was actually a poster inside. So, ow, ouch. Whew. So here is the poster. It says instruments of flight at the very top of it. Pretty cool poster. Pretty cool. A lot of Jordan retro models on it. A lot of OG colorways, as you can see. Is it only OG colorways? No, maybe? Yes, it is only OG colorways. Not too sure where I'm gonna put it in my bedroom just as of yet, or if I'm gonna use it, but it is a definitely a nice thing to have. You know, some art, some Jordan art. Now this next thing here is like a giant thick card. It says Sneakers Express on the front of it. So it's probably something I'd put on like my bulletin board for display. And on the very back of it, it actually has a big map of Toronto with a bunch of the different um, locations that Nike has taken over and has really added a personal touch to during the All-Star Weekend. So if you wanted to find anything Nike has touched in Toronto, this is the map you're gonna need to get. Now this next thing is actually the Sneakers Express um, boarding pass I had to use to get onto um, the streetcar, so it's pretty cool. Now this next thing is actually a black bag, a small black bag that says Sneakers Express on it and Jason Mark. Now I was like, oh, they're gonna give us some Jason Mark and sure enough, they did. It was really cool at the event. They actually had like a Jason Mark cleaning booth area where people will clean your shoes. It's a really cool concept. I like it. But realistically, if you're going to go to a Nike event like that, you're probably not going to wear some crappy, dirty, beat up shoes. So I, I highly doubt that the like employees there that are supposed to clean the shoes are going to do much cleaning at all. If I knew they had a cleaning booth, I would have brought my disgustingly dirty Air Force Ones. Oh well. Um, but Jason Mark and a cleaning brush which I have never used this stuff before in my entire life. So I will use this um, over the summer, most likely. Now the next two little trinkets that they gave me were two pins. One of them is a maple leaf and the other one says 416. They also gave me another pin, which I cannot find for whatever reason, but it is a mini replica version of the new um, Nike Air Force One Flyknit, a small little pin. Um, and it says the lightest ever, I believe. It says something like that. You know that term that they keep pushing the slogan um, for this lightest ever Air Force One. Now the last thing that Nike gave me um, is something the general public is not going to receive for obvious reasons because that would be a lot of like shoes, free shoes to give out. And so Nike actually gave me my very first pair of free shoes. So I am, I am like so honored to actually get like a free pair of shoes and it'd be from Nike, that's incredible. So this is the little tag that came with it. And let's just pop these bad boys out of the uh, black box. Here they are. These are a pair of Kobe's, which I am not too familiar with at all. Um, I've never seen this model in my entire life until I saw them in person at the event. And to be honest, my first impression of them was like, uh, like I I was not a huge fan of the shoe. I've never owned Kobe's in my entire life before, and I really don't play basketball um, much, like ever since since junior high was the last time I really played basketball or gym class, maybe in high school. So I wish I had these back then. And I did try these on last night, and these are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I just comfort wise, this shoe is on point. Okay, the support is great, the cushioning is great. I love it for that. It's hard for me to wear this casually. It's it's not really a casual shoe at all. But if I ever do try and wear them, I would wear them with a zipper done like this. Sort of reminds me of like the Jordan Future. A lot of people would compare it to like the uh, the gloves, those gloves and stuff. Oh, how far low can we actually take this thing? Let's see. Oh, okay. That's 
that's really cool. That's cool, that's cool, I like that. After like thinking about it and stuff, and I'm like, at first I was like, I don't know what to do with these, like do I resell them or something? But I'm like, nah. It's golden, which is cool, so I'm gonna treat it like a trophy. <laughs> so I'll have these on display in my bedroom somewhere. Shout out to you Nike, a huge, huge thank you for these Kobe's. And the name of this model is actually the Nike Zoom Kobe Icon. Um, J card or Jack card, J C R D. Here's the box label. Here's what it looks like on the box. These have apparently the same sole, the same outsole as the Kobe Six. This is sort of like a Jordan, not Jordan fusion, but like a Kobe fusion, I guess. And they are super like in your face when the sun or whenever light hits it. It really, really like like glitters, like like it just pops. It pops. And when I show these to my mom, I wish I did a reaction video with my mom to these shoes because when I got home and I was like, Mom, Nike gave me free shoes. She was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She pulled them out of the box and she was like in love with them. She really, really likes these way more than the Yeezy Boost 350 tan. If Nike wants to hook my mom up, that'd be cool. That's it for this video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and catch me on Twitter and Instagram. My name is at Charlie Dovenut. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.